really, to me, as much a state sovereignty issue as anything. Um, the Tenth Amendment clearly defines, narrowly defines, the authority of uh, the federal government and basically gives all other authority to the states, if not prohibited by the Constitution. So over time, we have acquiesced, states have acquiesced that authority uh, to the federal government. And uh, I believe this is a, this, this effort to propose amendments as we are proposing would in effect pull back that authority back to the states where it constitutionally it belongs. I have proposed for the last four years uh, a call for an Article 5 Convention of States for the state of Nebraska. The resolution we proposed is the same resolution being proposed in virtually all 50 states. Uh, and it's proposing amendments that would impose fiscal restraints on the federal government. Uh, it would limit the power and jurisdiction of the federal government, and it would limit the terms of office for Congress and other uh, and, and also other offices, uh, uh, federal officials. When two thirds of the states call for a convention, Article Five convention of states, for the purpose of proposing amendments, that convention can be called for that purpose. And so that's what we voted on last Friday, and it passed. Thankfully, Nebraska was 17, so uh, we kind of hit that benchmark of the halfway mark. Uh, and so uh, I think at some point, I think there will become some momentum in this effort to call for uh, an Article 5 Convention of States. And uh, and I'm proud of Nebraska for, for helping move that trend, that momentum along. I think it's become abundantly clear with, uh, with the history of Congress uh, that they have no they have no sense of uh, limiting their their spending and the accrued debt uh, that's happening upon our our nation. We have currently we're inching close to thirty trillion dollars. We have effectively kicked that can down the road on repayment of any of that, but we cannot kick the can down the road. Uh, every year, we uh, Congress is obligated to pay the interest on that debt, right? So, what does that amount to? Uh, our interest every year. Uh, on the national debt amounts to one billion dollars a day and to me that's un uh, that's unsustainable what's driving this as much as anything is is overreach on the part of the federal government the founding fathers had anxiety that that might happen i don't think i don't believe they imagined that it would uh, get to this point with 30 trillion dollars uh, but they they purposely uh, they did not put in limits, for example, for for terms of office. And uh, and I believe if in hindsight, if they were here today, they would say, yeah, we should have done that. And we left it up to the states. They given the states the opportunity to amend the Constitution to do that. We have career politicians now instead of citizen uh, citizen statesmen, if you will. I'm here live in Philadelphia at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. When you hear the phrase, lives, fortunes, and sacred honor, these are the folks we should think of, those who anonymously gave their lives. Well, today you have a chance to volunteer. You need to volunteer for conventionofstates.com, the movement that's going to save the country. These folks are willing to step up and give everything. We need you to give just a little bit. Go to conventionofstates.com and volunteer today.